Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the Irate Alex YouTube channel. Today, guys, today is a, a format that I've discussed with my channel members and patrons, wherein I just kind of, you know, not really go on camera. I just kind of talk about something for a little bit, and it's kind of like a podcasty type dealio. So um, th th this is to assist with the current situation, as most of you know, the the health issues that I'm currently dealing with, and yeah. So anyway, today we're talking about Shani for Christ. That's right, my uh, my arch nemesis, her um, her Facebook mother of a husband, Rev News, and uh, G Man, along with a chap called Von Helton, someone who I've not covered before. Now, if you've been subscribed to me since at least until last December you'll know that I've made a couple of very, very big videos on a YouTuber by the name of Shani for Christ and her husband, Rev. These were long docu-style videos, two of them specifically, but there's a bunch of live streams and smaller videos wherein I address her. Now, Shani for Christ, if you want to know the full deets, I will link in the pinned comments uh, previous videos that I've done about her. The first one was called The Female Onision. The reason why that video was made in the first place is because she decided to go in and bat for Chantel, aka Foodie Booty, uh, act as her pit bull. And she was saying some pretty spicy things about a former friend of mine, uh, The Life of a Free Spirit, Callie. And I did try to engage with Shani. Uh, she was live streaming. I was at work at the time on a night shift and she was sat there looking sweaty as all hell and she was talking about uh, race and the too, too many colored folks being in the area that she lived in formerly and thing uh, she was making some pretty spicy comments and looked all kinds of deranged at the time i did try to reach out to her it's no surprise to me that she doesn't remember this makes me wonder what exactly was in her system at the time now i tried to engage with her she did respond but i guess she just doesn't remember that she continued on a little rampage and I decided to, you know, spend six days along with Fab for Geeky and Lola Bohemia doing the research on her finding out all the nuttiness that had happened in the previous five years or so. And uh, she'd cut quite the um, path, shall we say, across the internet involving all manner of lunatics. So we made the documentary. Now, admittedly, the female Onision video could have been a million times better. I probably shouldn't have narrated the large portion wherein I explain her timeline um, and the weird kind of relationship between her and G-Man as the Lone Star narrator. Um, I, don't be I don't believe that that character uh, is probably ever going to come back, if I'm honest with you. But um, I released that video, you know, and uh, it, pr it pretty much it just lined up all of her timeline. Um, I do like to brag about the fact that I was the first person to collate her warpath across the internet, shall we say, almost in its complete entirety. After this video, she and Rev kind of disappeared. You, you, the most you'd get out of Shani was the odd kind of weird gaming live stream from them both. But they resurfaced, as you guys know, in February time, and Shani was spreading Charlie Gold docs around at the time, and she just was on a rampage laughing about the fact that a member of the Geek Room uh, YouTube channel had passed away, laughing at that um, hysterically and finding that very, very funny. Good quality Christian values there. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, so I ended up making another video called this called The Sins of the Insanity, which I thought was a far superior video to the first docu-style video and just as before shani disappeared again she disappeared after all the chaos with her son having very very dark thoughts and i don't know i don't know why she walked away but she did and lo and behold she returned and it's funny i was speaking to my mods about the good old days in my discord like a couple of weeks ago about 
how fun those days were even though it, it if it feels like it was years ago but it wasn't even that long ago i mean it was this year you know the sins of the enchanty came out in march and on that same day i find out that she's released a video and that video is called fab fit geeky and i rate alex or i rate alex and fab fit and geeky even i don't understand why no one can get her name right <laughs> uh, it's not fab and fit and geeky it's just fab fit geeky i don't i, I don't know why it's difficult but apparently it is for for shani and g-man in particular but whatever so she uploads this video two weeks ago asking for my help and uh <laughs> to, to to look into allegations allegations to look into a drag naught silver's live stream wherein he had allegedly sexually harassed her now obviously uh, i don't think that you can <laughs> sexually harass somebody via video um i think that would be pretty difficult to do uh but i i you know i uh i, I caved i decided you know what i'll go do that i'll go do that why not eh? um and uh I was still banned from her YouTube channel, so I had to log into my gaming channel, Lexi Chan, in order to speak to her. And I popped into her chat when she was live streaming, and she decided uh, to not really notice the fact that I kept putting in brackets, I'm irate Alex, but, you know, it, it took around six, seven messages for her to notice this. And I asked her for timestamps to make my life easier. And, uh, oh boy, she went from zero to a hundred real quick. Her and Rev giving it the mouth. You're a drama investigator. Go do your job. Oh, that's how you do your research, is it? Well, well no, no. Um, <laughs> um, considering the amount of content that I had to watch of you two idiots, it's it's astounding, really, the, 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 the amount of research that I actually have done. But I wanted to make my life a bit easier. But Shani said it was all across, it's all across the live stream. Um, it wasn't. Um, I did two live streams watching Drag's stream with my audience in tow. With Drag in the chat, of course. And with, with his full permission to watch the entire, entire stream. Um, there was only like, I don't know, a 20 minute segment with him, his brother and a friend, I think it was. And what they were doing is they were watching Shani and Rev's quote-unquote um, OnlyFans content that had been uploaded to, um, you know, that website that begins with P and ends in Ornhub. Yeah, you know that one, yeah. <laughs> uh, they were watching that on a mobile device. You couldn't see it. You could you could hear a little bit of it. Sounded like a, um, a meerkat trying to fight a rhino. I don't know, man. It was, well, that's how I imagine it to be anyway. And, um, you know, they, they obviously had their comments, but I don't believe it was sexual harassment. I asked the chat, uh, and here's the thing, like, I imagine, like, people are like, oh, it's just, you, your audience would agree. Well, uh, no, my audience knows not to just blindly agree with me. They know that. They know that I dislike that. They know that they can disagree with me, and we can have a conversation. That's the thing. Like, I, I, I take quite a large amount of pride in how diverse my audience actually is especially politically you know i i have some very progressive left-leaning folks i also have some very hardline conservatives uh that are subscribed to me hell i even have at least one alt writer who subscribed to me I'd, i've asked him why he subscribed to me with me being you know like part west african and everything but he's like oh, i find you entertaining <laughs> it's like, okay fair enough whatever now i have a very diverse audience they don't just blindly agree with me uh, trust me there, there are live streams out there where you can see where i'm arguing with my own subscribers right so it's uh it's nothing to do with that everyone pretty much agreed like not a single soul amongst my uh audience thought that dragon his brother were sexually harassing or whatever they, they, what they were doing was making fun of you two um it's not stealing your content either by the way um all they did was simply watch your content on a mobile device and they didn't actually show any of it so that's not stealing your content believe it or not yeah you, you honestly between rev and shani and g-man like they they need to read fair use and they need to understand that it's a very subjective thing <sighs> but whatever uh, anyway um so we came to the conclusion that no they they hadn't done that and um, as you could imagine, Shani wasn't particularly happy. 
She was not a happy chappy. This entire fiasco reminded me of when she made a video with Rev offering to donate to me. And this, you know, this came out of nowhere. And this is still a, a thing that's on my community tab. You can go look for yourself. She offered to donate to me because she heard that, you know, my health was down. And I, you know, I politely declined because I'm not asking for money to deal with my health problems. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, uh, much to my own detriment. I'm using the NHS, the National Health Service, and I'm having my own personal fight with them at the moment. Uh, that's a conversation for a different day, of course. But I didn't, I didn't need money. Uh, I politely declined. I pointed out that it was very nice of them both to, to, to reach out um, and make that offer. And Shani was fine, but you know she she responded with, "Oh, okay, you know, whatever." And then about ten minutes later, she went from zero to a hundred. You know, is is like the, like me asking for timestamps was exactly the same thing. Like her and Rev screeching at me, and then she went into victim mode like she normally does. It's bizarre. It's utterly bizarre. They're just ugh, but. She's returned and she's been, you know, like, I don't get, like, why she does what she does. She comes back, she fires shots in all different directions and then cries the victim, you know, just constantly, you know, and then has the audacity to upload a video calling someone a victim. <laughs> uh, I find Shani fascinating. Um, I, I truly do. I truly do. And uh, Rev is just as interesting, you know. You've got a uh, you know, Captain Vagisil, you know, over there. The um, the very much the uh, the the, the cuck, um, in the relationship who does what he's told. It's a bit sad, you know, because the other day, I you know, I went. They 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 opened up the conversation. They opened the floor to conversation. I went on there. I spoke to Shani and Rev on their stream. Here, I'll show a clip. Be bad, Shani. How are you? Oh. I love that accent. Anyway, Did you change the layout. This is triggering. <laughs> oh yes, sir. I won't trigger you, sir. The individual has a very. Good I do have. I understand. You say you're go, a right mental back. health advocate. You know what's funny? I was just thinking that you were going to say that, and lo and behold, that's how you started. Exactly. <laughs> it's because exactly I how I figured you you'd start this off. Stuff. Okay. Well, you have called me out on that before, and I did respond, but. I guess you didn't pay attention, but mental health advocate. What is a mental health advocate, Shani? Someone who advocates for people who have mental health problems. Somebody who advocates good, but you didn't healthy treat mental like, health and calls out those people who lean on you it. Me, sir, Shani, Shani, I, I have mental health problems. I can't use them as an excuse. Okay, can I? Okay, you, but you treated me badly, and you shouldn't use. You your called me a pedo advocate. enabler. I mean. Well, yeah, I was mad at you over. I didn't even know who you were. I'm sorry that I called you that. Does that make you feel better? I'm but sorry. You're saying that you didn't know who I was, Shani. I but, didn't know who you were. But we you spoke a, well, like way the before thing. then. Here's the thing. I went on. I, I was I was stupid. And I went on a hate smear campaign against the Nisian, And it wasn't very good. It was it wasn't very good. So I looked at anyone who had any any influence. People said, "Hey, we're going to uh, Alex Irate or, or not Irate Alex. We're going to Alex's uh, channel." So I went to Alex. I went to your uh, not channel but Twitter. So I followed other people and just spammed what they told me to spam. Is it right to do? Absolutely not. I apologize. It was stupid, but it was in good intentions because I just wanted to people to know they're like, I'm really serious about like being an advocate to people who've been abused and sexually abused. I've always have. That's what you saw as an advocacy and you took it personally. And I'm sorry you took it personally. And I'm sorry. I said it. I'm going to try to learn in the future. Not to say, um, Shani, one could therapy, argue, you know, sir, you, you sir, can I finish if, what I'm saying? I'm just I'm, saying like, come on. I'm go <laughs> I'll let you finish. I'll let, I'll let you talk first after I'm finished, but I just, I'm sorry. I did this to you. I'm I'm going to learn more in the future through therapy, how to deal with people through interpersonal skills and deal with conflict because I am going to therapy and I am court order therapy and, and other therapy because I do want to I do want to I do need help.
and I am trying to get better. And um, I've been doing this for about four months now in trauma-based therapy, and I feel strong enough where I can handle interpersonal conflict. So now you can speak, sir. Oh, I appreciate the apology. I did see, uh, I was actually given a timestamp of a stream you did, I don't know, a month ago, um, but you did apologize for calling me a pedo enabler, which of course I do appreciate, Shani, so thank you for doing that. Um, but you understand my uh, issue here with the, you calling me out for being a mental health advocate, but then also trying to justify calling me a pedo enabler because you were acting as, as behalf of a advocate. Fair enough. Um, which, you know, it kind of contradicts, you know, Fair enough. Me out for it. I don't mind being called out for things at the end of the day. I put myself out there. I expect to be criticized. And I have been absolutely hammered by people like Kiwi Farms. And you, there are plenty of YouTubers that have dug into me. So, um, I'm sorry about that. That's Kiwi right. Farms that's not your fault, is it? From hell. I think <laughs> Kiwi Farms need to be taken down by the government. It's, 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 enabling, it's enabling people to stalk people. And it's not right. Um, you and I could disagree on that. Um, I, okay, well, I, I don't I, mind it existing. I just I've like been doctor, stalked like there, through so. Kiwi Farms, and you need to, with you and your child, you need to watch your back because they will call mass call CPS on you. And that's okay, Alex. Okay, bro. It's like I'm serious, dude. You need to watch your back over this stuff yeah. and keep your nose clean and stay out of the fucking drama yeah. because you won't keep your nose clean if you do. We have an irate Alex individual in the room. Thank you for being here. I want to I want to tell you quick, dude. Okay, just be we'll sue them for you and everybody else that's been victimized for them for one reason. They can exist, but we're going to sue them because there's tons of lies on there, bro. At like, you, you know, know what Re I mean? Rev, uh, here's the thing with Kiwi Farms. It, it is free speech. And, you know, yeah, it's American lies, based. Though, are lies free speech, though, bro? Well, it depends how far that goes, doesn't it? No, um, I don't think so. If somebody lies about you, you can sue the shit out of them, bro. If, if somebody was slander. to, go, well, it depends what they say. And yeah, at the end of the day, it is the internet. Lies on it, bro. Like, they've you, they've made up plenty of things about me. You yeah, know, I, you should, I, you should I, sue it, for it, damages, bro. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I you know that there's, there's no point. It, there is a section on Kiwi Farms where they put people who attempt to take down you know, posts about them or they try to sue them. And then Josh, you know, the um, the owner of Kiwi Farms goes on a live stream. He just makes fun of them um, because nothing e can be done because it's, I suppose, freedom of speech to a degree. Um, I, so I get that. All right. I can, listen, you're talking, listen, you're talking to an InfoWars individual. And I know you probably don't. I'm not saying I support Alex anymore because I don't. Okay. Because the man had llamas on his show the other <laughs> weeks ago. Is this Mom, is yeah, <laughs> Alex? He now, yes, of course, you can criticize me here. I criticize myself over this. There are questions that I should have asked that didn't, I guess, fit her particular boundaries, but you know, uh, I, I don't know why I couldn't get them out. And my, my mind went blank when I went on there. I, I guess, speaking, um to somebody who I'm quite clearly a big fan of. <laughs> um, you know, uh, maybe perhaps I was a little bit starstruck, you know. You, you, you've got, you know, under the bridge troll there uh, and her, uh, her pet chihuahua, Rev, who I like. I like to consider Rev a Facebook mum. The man's insane, some of the, some of the stuff that he comes out with. He really is. Hey, have you heard, folks? There's a new group of people on the internet. The internet's getting really disgusting. They're called drama investigators, folks. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I, I must confess, uh, as the director of the um, of the drama investigator bureau, um, I have been directing my minions, my my operatives, my agents to collect information. <laughs> no, 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 no. He uploaded a video yesterday uh, because. He doesn't understand that there are such things as bots that exist, that spam links on live streams and videos in the comments section and whatnot. He also doesn't seem to understand how the the fact that you can moderate your own comment section. I don't get it, because like I'm fairly certain that if you like if you try to type the name Alex into Shani for Christ channel, it won't show up. I'm fairly sure, like, she hasn't just banned, like, my accounts. 
she's actually banned my name. I'm I, I am he who shall not be named. I am Voldemort now. <laughs> It cracks me up. I'm fairly sure G-Man and Rev have both done the same thing. Like, if, if you could do that, then I don't understand why you'd have such problems. Just having, like, uh, like, why would you upload a video about saying, Dear YouTube, as if they're going to listen to you. Uh, YouTube aren't going to listen to you. You're not PewDiePie, Rev. You're not famous. Like, you and Shani, like, seem to think you're famous. You're not. You really aren't. Um, if I'm not, you definitely aren't. And I have way more subscribers and I get way more views than the pair of you, right? There are prawn links in my comment section. Well, it, what I find interesting about about all this is what Rev said. And uh, I've got to show you a clip because I did a, li a, a wee little reaction to his, his video over on Twitch. Matt Bell got arrested, right? Yeah, he did. I am not into child porn. The porn that I was into, I'll be full disclosure, when I was into porn, I was into goth chicks. When I was into physical porn, I repented of that. What? Physical porn as opposed to what? Sp spiritual fucking porn? Uh, what? And I went to hentai because I felt like it was sort of less sinful, which is anti- <laughs> Oh my God. He has no idea what he just said! <laughs> hentai is less sinful! <laughs> That's right, folks. Hence, I is less than for. <laughs> the fucking conviction on his face. <laughs> for the stuff they're into. Matt Bell got arrested, right? Yeah, he did. Fucking idiot. I, the porn that I was into, <laughs> be full disclosure, when I was in the oh. porn, I oh. was into goth chicks. When I was into physical porn, I repented of that, and I went to hentai because I felt like it was sort of less <laughs> sinful, which is anime who's porn. It, who's fucking... What are you probably done? <laughs> yeah, I, I have fun. I have fun. <laughs> Another thing as well, like, Shani's like, like... She doesn't understand. Like She talks about suing people all the time. But the thing is, is that she has slandered me. She has defamed me, even after fake apologizing to me on that live stream. You know, she's doesn't understand there's a difference between somebody, you know, throwing shade at each other and then calling me a sexual harasser, sexual offender, and just like names like that. Like, you know, I tried to... Uh, she opened up the floor again. I went on to speak to her again, and she just cut me off. You know, she just booted me straight back out again. And just, you know, she dismissed it. It's, oh, you you, you called me names. Uh, oh, that's a shame. You gotta, you know, you gotta deal with it. It's like, no, I don't have to deal with it. You called me a sexual harasser. You called me a sexual offender. And this is purely based on the fact that whilst I was, you know, doing the quote-unquote Shani for Christ investigation, I played noir music. Because that's a thing that I do on my live stream, Shani, if you bothered to actually go and look. If you weren't such a self-centered fucking hippo, right? The, the, you, you, you were that stupid. Utterly stupid. It, it's pathetic. It really is. Like, I sit back, I change the, the contrast on the screen so it, you know, it kind of goes black and white. I play my noir music. And then I, you know, I do my, you know, uh, 1930s, 1940s, you know, uh, PI voice, you know. 14.33 in the afternoon and, uh...
I've just been sat here this entire time looking at this troll. She belongs underneath a bridge and her husband, if you can use that term, I don't know, but it's just sad. He, uh, he's basically, he's basically a Ken, a Keith, a male Karen, and they're a problem. We gotta do something about it, lest it uh, spread out. Good grief, these people are cads. You know, it's, it's something that I enjoy doing. It makes me laugh. It tickles me a little bit to do that. I have fun doing that. It's what makes me unique. Unique New York. But yeah, like, like you, 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 Channing Christ returns to the internet with Rev. And what happens? She gets into drama and more drama and more drama. And the thing is, this is a cycle. Like, if you go look at her channel, like, things appear to be ramping down again. You know, there's more gaming content. You know, and uh, if you look how much, uh, like how much, uh, how many hours a day those two are streaming, like six hours, eight hours, you know, two hours there on top of the extra eight, you know, like just where, what, where where's the kids, you know, like 12 hour live stream uh, a week ago, you know, like uh, <laughs> the day after five and a half hour stream. And it's, it's the thing is, if it was just you, that would be fine, you know, because then we, we'd know that, you know, someone is watching the kids. Like, you know, when I'm streaming, when I'm in my office doing the video and YouTube thing, I know that my missus is watching the kiddie winks, you know? <laughs> yeah, but, but the problem is, is it's you two. And there, there are clips of, like, Rev shouting at the kids through the door, telling them to go away because, you know, you're streaming. It's disgusting. It's, again, you like you had the audacity, you know, back in February to to blame drag me and the geek room and stuff like that for you know Will, <clears throat> your eldest, you know, because you were taking him to a mental health clinic. And the fact that you you still don't like understand that going home whilst he's there, starting up a live stream, and quite literally clout chasing. On Twitter, whilst just sat there naked, doing it, tweeting at Shane Dawson and that, you like you still don't understand what's wrong with that, and that's truly sad. Like you haven't addressed that, and I don't know when you plan to. But in the world of Shani for Christ and Rev, there is an expanded universe, and of course there are people like G G G G G G G Man. He's a uh, <laughs> he he is not happy at the moment because Black Guy TV and Hannibal and Monty keep calling him G Slave, <laughs> and the thing is, like G Man is like the archetypal militant Christian, just full of double standards. He thinks like telling me that I have MS and insulting Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II is somehow a diss against me. Like he doesn't understand anything, and and if you disagree with him. If you if if you don't exactly fit his kind of weird bill of what it means to be a here Christian, all right, um, then you're an atheist. He also doesn't seem to understand other religions like Islam either. The man's a fool. He truly is. He's honestly just ugh, waste of time. But he is quite entertaining, though. I must admit, I, it, the, the the fact that he will come out and outright defend pedophiles for example um because they you know they're friends with him or whatever is is astounding to me the fact that he's defended shani for christ over and over and over again is insane to me she, she called him a nigger <laughs> she literally called him that but we we can we can forgive that because you know shani Shani's your friend, isn't she? She uh, she fits the bill of what, of what a Christian is, according to G Man. Honestly, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what makes G Man a low cow at the end of the day. The man's a fool, and uh, it's funny. I could, there's a lot that I could say about G Man, but I don't want to talk about him too much because honestly, he's like just a tiny minion in all of this. I want to move on to Von Helton because Von Helton is somebody who I knew of. But I didn't know his law. I didn't understand just how nutty he is. If you don't know who Von Helton is, he's like, I don't know, like 56-year-old redneck type 
sat there with a pagan cross around his like pagan medallion or whatever around his neck even though like all of his beliefs pretty much fit like christianity (laughs) because he wants to feel special now now, i've been told a lot about him and i i actually got to speak to him for the first time the other day they won't take him without uh a government agency with all of the oversight that a government agency has has gone completely rogue just to fuck with you big brain moves there vaughn someone mute vaughn for just a moment please i don't think i can i all i can hear is ding 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 like just it's just a wave of i would have never 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 done that that's all i constantly fucking hear hello hello how 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 are we today gentlemen how are we i'm pretty good i've seen the link in the uh seen the link in the chat bone shut the fuck up this is why you had your kid taken off shut the fuck up Shut oh, the yes. fuck up! Oh my god. Just, just mute the prick. Just I can't mute him. him. I can't He's do so <laughs> He just can't help him. But ding, 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 oh, ding. Shut your goddamn fucking whore mic, you son of a bitch. Ding, 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 yeah, didn't he? Your life is. I've got to. I've got to tend to the swans, man, because that is real life. Oh, you, are you putting more effort into your swans than your kid? Okay, Vaughn. Okay. So it's nice. It's nice to know that you put more effort into your. Uh... Oh, I didn't. I didn't even mean to do that. It just happened. I'm just going to keep playing this. Fun. It will be educational. You might even learn something. You never fucking know. Who knows? Bye, Vaughn. Suck a dick, Vaughn. Gonna get all the penis. Bye, Paul again. Bye, bye. Bye. Ah, there we go. There we go. And that was a lot of fun, admittedly. I know now that I can defeat Von Helton by simply playing banjo music through Soundpad at him. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. But um, I, I was sent the Encyclopedia Dramatica about him, and I it read like a fan fiction. Uh, the person who wrote it, what they did was, is very smart. They started it off by writing it like from like how von helton might you know discuss uh, his accomplishments or talk about his life and then they told the truth and it's funny because the first bit was way longer than the second <laughs> he's um he's basically a toothless lunatic uh he who he, he just thinks he's the dog's nuts really he, he thinks he's the bee's knees He's actually just a complete waste of space. He is the definition of trailer trash. The man has had his children taken away from him 11 times. The man stated on that live stream where I was shouting at him that he would, his rights should come before, like, you know, her getting his kids back. Like, he puts his own rights before his own children. Um, news for you, Von Helsen, and anybody else who might be batting for him. Um, when you're a parent, you would sacrifice your own life for them that's how it works that's what it means to be a parent good grief but according to to von helton you know he's um he's like former black ops special forces he's revived his cat after it was shot by assassins who broke into his trailer to take him out he's uh he's he's a goddamn space marine he's a he's a ninja (laughs) <laughs> he's also a computer repairman oh yeah oh, oh oh and he's a vampire the list goes on like the the list is ridiculous like i i was even tempted to try and challenge myself to see how fast i could read his entry i thought you know what i'm gonna do it now why not why not uh but before i attempt to read this without tripping over myself and i'm going to trip over myself uh, there, there are a lot of accusations against him, and uh, he is—he is very much a sex pest, from what I've read about him. Um, now, obviously, there, there's a lot of claims, and you know, there are links to various accusations, including him uh, being a paedophile. Um, this video is not for that, so you know, I'm not going to make that claim. That said, I will link the the Encyclopedia Dramatica down below in the pinned comment if you were interested and wanted to go have a read. I might make a big video on him at some point, to be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know. I think he would probably be worth it because when I read this to you, you'll see exactly just how nuts he is. So we have a list and I'd just like to thank um, 
Encyclopedia Dramatica uh, for, for doing this because some poor some poor bastard sat here and did all this right okay so let's do this <clears throat> job slash other kin titles beep 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 Computer Repair Man, Vigilante Special Ops Superhero, literally The Punisher. Apparently this was for three years. As The Punisher, he has beat up, has been shot at, has been stabbed, has been boiled in oil, has been hanged on a meat hook and left to die, owns a... Uh, Owned or owned a 30 mil Gatling gun, busted up MS-13 operation. <laughs> he stopped Italian mob on two occasions to stop the Russian mob. He saved five women's lives in Killeen, Texas. Only one girl, a German, was lost. He also broke up a pimp's operation in Killeen. Paramilitary units sent to kill him for pretending to be the Punisher, skinned his dog and shot his cat. He's been a boxing ninja. Mm. No, he's been a boxing champion, a ninja, a vampire, a warlock, an alchemist, a sorcerer, amateur chemist, amateur cryptozoologist, medical orderly for 14 years, band manager for Christian rock band, a flautist, a singer, he studied Rousey law, he was head juror and or jury foreman for two years, comedian, designer, curator, entertainer, photo... <sighs> photographer, filmmaker, writer, journalist, a brand, a venue. <laughs> what? Um, a p politician. Groomed by the rich and famous to be one in his teen years before giving up uh, to help the common man. <laughs> Cowboy, religious scholar, studying the world's religions for 35 years. His balls were exposed to depleted u uranium. He guarded the empty gold at... Fort Knox, been in Army, Navy, DEA, Coast Guard, the agency, has been intimate with video game design and Cheeto since Pong, beta tested Microsoft AOL, the Enigma Code, the freaking Enigma Code, helped girls flee from cults and foster care, uh, gods and supernatural, promised by the gods a great and glorious future that will benefit all of mankind, a restaurant he worked at shorted him on a check, and the next time he went back there, Zeus has blasted the establishment with his energy cannon, raised his cat from the dead, has come face to face with a demon, has battled with a knife throwing poltergeist <laughs> he once used the force oh my god died and came back to life uh more than twice <laughs> has controlled the weather can fucking weather control man uh more evil than other baby killing, killing members during his time in his satanic cult once sought all of almost what once sought of almost saw a great alien shot at him english please guys come on can read minds except his own uh childhood age at age five he memorized the names and spellings of all dinosaurs new names and details of all the aircraft flying flying aces and battles of world war uh, the First World War, knew all the planets, read and understood Shakespeare, invented the stealth fighter as a child. I guess that was stolen by someone. Invented the ion drive, invented internet abbrevi abbreviations such as be right back and a AFK, as in away from uh, keyboard. He was one of the people who started the idea of respect of for the dead. <laughs> he was one of the people who started the idea of civil unions for gays. He was one of the people who started the idea of gay marriage leading to bestiality and paedophilia. Blames trolls for tarred brides cervix ripping. I assume he's m m talking about his missus. But yeah, he blames trolls for uh, t tearing his wife's cervix. I don't know how that works, but okay. Uh, claims a son in, a in another state, which which was his, with 99.9999% certainty, has the same name as his trailer son, isn't, isn't his, for fear of paying child support. Oh, good grief. You know what? The rest of it, I don't need to add because um, <laughs> um, I don't need it. There is more. There is more. I, I can't do it. <laughs> There's so much there. There's so much there. Honestly, you know, I've made the statement that I want to make a third Shani for Christ docu-style video, but I think it might have to become a series at this point. You know, it's just um, with, with my health and everything, guys, I uh, it's been very difficult trying to balance everything and learn to pace myself and learn to kind of deal with things. And um, I'm obviously in my, as, as most of you know, I'm in a personal battle with the NHS at the moment to get them to hurry up. You know, I still don't even have my, you know, supposed MRI, which I've been pushed to the front of the queue over a uh, letter through yet, you know, so... I've, I've had to take it to the ombudsman, but the ombudsman takes three weeks to actually get sorted. So, yeah, you know, it, it's, I'm in a position right now where I'm probably going to lose my friggin' job. Um, so I, I don't know how things are going to pan out. As you could imagine, mental health has been something that, once again, has, has become a major struggle. So I'm not saying that, so to, you know, to get sympathy points off of anybody. It's just I'm kind of like letting you know where I'm at, why I am not like uploading as much content as I have been you know and I you know I do have a lot of people who support you know via channel membership and patreon and of course I love you guys you guys are wonderful and I obviously feel that I am 
um, obliged to them. You know, I'm, I'm, I have responsibility to them to produce content for them. But um, I, 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 but most of them are very, very supportive and don't mind the idea of me at least trying to do a couple of these types of videos that are a bit more podcasty. You know what I mean? I rate cast. I'm not going to call it that because it's not. It's not a podcast, is it? It's not a podcast. But uh, let me know what you thought, guys. If if you thought that this type of video was um okay, I realize it's not. You know, it's it's not what I want to do personally. It's not. The kind of direction of the channel that I kind of want to go like you know you know me I like to make the longer form content with lots of editing and little skits and whatnot um but you know this is where I'm at you know I'm I'm, I'm doing very well on twitch you guys should go follow twitch.tv r8 alex you know I'm, I'm trying to stream there four times a week and you know we're, we're having fun over there we're having fun over there um it's been great over on twitch so far but you know like streaming on youtube as well and just just trying to balance everything out and pace myself has been very very big challenge but you know we all have problems we all have problems but um i'm doing my best with what i have uh, at the moment and i uh, i hope that you guys are understanding i know many of my channel members and patrons have been more than understanding so you know i do appreciate you guys i do appreciate you but anyway guys thank you very much for listening especially if you got this far into the video i hope you have a great day please continue to look after yourself and i shall see you next time thanks for watching peace